Hi everyone, it's Bilal Ahmed. I hope you are doing well. This is the today's summary of the lesson of English. Today was 25 November 2020 and the day was Wednesday. As you know, we are in unit four, the big sky. And today we started the new lesson, lesson number two. The sky by day and night. Okay. In this lesson, you are going to learn what you can see in sky by day and night. Page 50. So you have to learn the, you have to first listen to the information, listen for information about day and night. Okay. And what you can see in the sky. And then after you have to talk about day and night. The important words for this lesson are sun, star, planet, moon, light, dark, turn around and shine. So you have to learn and memorize these words and try to write on the notebooks. So before I start this lesson, you have to listen the track number 35 where you can learn about uh, what you can see in the sky in the day and the night. So I'm going to play the track number 35 and where you will learn, can we see the sun in the day or at night? What are clouds made of? And can we see stars in the day? So listen this track number 35. Track 35. One. What can we see in the sky by day? The sun and clouds. In the day, we can see the sun. The sun is a star. It's the nearest star to our planet, Earth. It is the only star we can see in the day. Clouds are made of lots of tiny drops of water. Water comes down from the clouds as rain or snow. What can we see in the sky at night? the moon and stars. Nobody can count all the stars in our sky. There are too many. When it is very dark, you can see more stars. We can see the moon because the sun shines light on it. Sometimes we see a whole round moon and sometimes we see only part of the moon. Why do we have day and night? The sun shines on our planet, Earth. Earth turns round slowly. So half of our planet is light and half of our planet is dark. When it is light, we have day. When it is dark, we have night. Okay, I hope you understand this track number 35. Let me explain for you. So in this track, give me a moment. So in the track number 35, you learned that in the day, we can see sun and clouds. Okay, we can see sun and clouds and uh, clouds are made of tiny drops of water and water comes from clouds as rain or snow and you also learned that the sun is the nearest star to our planet earth okay just keep in mind star sorry sun is the star and earth our planet so okay sun is star and Earth is planet. And what can we see in the sky at night? 
you can see moon and stars and you learn that nobody can count all the stars and when it is dark you can see more stars and we can see the moon because the sun shines light on it okay when the sun shines then moon shines so sometimes we see a whole moon okay whole round moon and sometimes we see only part of the moon you can see in this picture this is the whole moon okay the round one and sometime we see just a part of the moon and you also learned that why do we have day and night when the sun shines on our planet so earth turn around slowly so half of our planet is light and half of our planet is dark when it is light we have day and when it, in, when it is dark we have night okay when the sun shines on our planet earth we will have the day and when the sun not shine on our planet it's mean we have night okay dark night light day just keep in mind so you have to read this comprehension okay and uh, try to read the information and then you have you can answer the questions okay let me open my slide so here we discussed today can we see the sun in day and night we can see the sun only in day okay the next thing is uh, you have to answer these questions the sun and clouds can we see the sun at night is the sun a planet is the sun a star are clouds made of water so you can answer these questions by reading comprehension okay on the learner's book so here is the homework on activity book page 42 so you must read the comprehension the information about sky and then you can answer these questions very easily thank you so much take care have a nice day